What's happening, guys? We're going to do a quick cold start for you on the 95 CR500. She is absolutely stone cold. Let me show you the procedure here. I know we're in the museum, but we're going to tilt her over to uh, prime the bowl. See the little spurt of fuel out? That means that we have fuel. Come around on this side, Jordan. I like to kick her over through the stroke a couple times, get some vacuum, get a good mix in the combustion chamber there. Kick it over three, four times. Salt it to taste. And then you're going to bring it up to top dead center. Every time. Every time. I think if I breathed on the throttle there, I would have laid down a 50 foot uh, strip of rubber down on the nice museum floor. I don't think Senior would have been too happy about that, but check it out guys. So you know we're keeping an ear to the streets for you, finding the cleanest CR500s and check, check out what I just pulled out of the hat. 1995 Honda CR500, really clean example. West Coast, we call them the Cali frame rails. When you find a CR500 with a nice straight frame rails, you know that it didn't come from New England or it uh, was just recently taken out of the box or was just written in sand. So this one was out west, so the, uh, the frame rails were spared. Super clean example, not a total restoration. We'll show you the frame, below, bottom of the forks and the swing arm, some of the cycle parts that are in pristine condition before we sign off here. But 1995, original motor, um, original carburetor here. It's got the Adam Millar intake reed spacer. It's got the CPI pipe. Come back on this side, Jordan. This is a massive displacement CPI pipe. These are made out west as well. Um, and in our experience dyno tuning these, you go from a stock pipe up to the bigger displacement pipes. And, and essentially, with the bigger expansion chamber, you're going to move the, uh, let's say the power curve is, uh, let's see, you're peaking out at, you know, uh, however much 6500 rpm with the bigger displacement pipe you're going to essentially push back that uh peak and horsepower and actually uh have more peak horsepower so sometimes you sacrifice a little bit of people say you sacrifice torque down low yeah if you look at 3000 rpm it might have less torque than stock but the fact is that power curve is just being moved a little bit later down the line so what you get with these big displacement pipes is a really happy revving bike even with a stock port so accompanied with an aggressive port, cylinder port, that's where the magic happens. A good cylinder port and a big displacement pipe like this, that's what it takes to achieve the 60 plus horsepower realm. These are gonna be making 52 out of the box to the rear wheel on the dyno. Whereas a 450, uh, any stock Japanese or Austrian 450 might come close to that horsepower wise. They're not even close in the torque department. And uh, I had the, the same conversation with our, our friend Jason that just picked up an 89 CR500 from us a few days ago. Riding one of these is unlike any of the 450s. The power is, it's a completely different animal, um, not even in the same school. And you guys, if you know, you know. So this bike, I'll go over the ticket with you, but you know, um, it's exactly what you would expect. A really nice original that's got some good bolt-ons on it. Mechanically, the thing's a 10. It just went through our shop. You see, it's got the Kaplan America uh, livery, the typical, uh, you know, American flag number one decals on there. Um, consumables have been refreshed. It's got some, the Hoosier tires on it, gold chain sprockets, aftermarket foot pegs. It's got the factory racing boys in cover. Of course, the carb's been serviced and gone through. It's got a new aftermarket uh, reproduction seat cover. And, of course, these uh, new decals on the stock tank. Um, up top here, we got the Renthal 7 8 handlebars with the ODI lock-on half waffle grips. These are OEM to the Austrian brands, and th th this is uh, my, our favorite set of grips here. Love those. Um, looks like a newer front brake cable up front here. What else do we have? New throttle cable. Um, looks like a new throttle assembly as well. Um, it's got new red um, coolant hoses. Um, and everything is uh, everything's tight on this bike, guys. Um, I'll go over the work order real quick with you. Got a new NGK spark plug here. Drain and flush the fuel tank. Disassembled and cleaned the carburetor. Got VPT2 ethanol-free fuel, which is a 40 to 1 mix with synthetic oil. 
super stable fuel. I just started up my 89 CR500 after 11 months of sitting and it fired up first kick, just like I showed a little bit earlier. Uh, inspected and topped off the gear lube. This came from uh, Keaton Tribe, a good friend of ours out west um, that, that I bought the bike from. He already had the thing dialed in, but we put the, you know, when we sell a bike, we got to put our stamp of approval on it. So it's going through service. We got a reasonable work order on this thing. Cleaned and serviced the air box. Uh, cleaned and oiled the air filter. New Hoosier tire uh, front and rear. New tubes as well. Adjusted the front and the rear spokes. Um, that was amongst the 100-point hardware check. We call it the 100-point, but it's, it's, a full, it's a full hardware check. Motor mounts and all the hardware on the bike spokes. Um, complete check over. New fork. Lower guards, new Sunstar gold racing chain, new Moose 40, uh, excuse me, 34 millimeter chain roller, the new 7 8 Renthals, like I mentioned. Um, let me see, cleaned and lubed the throttle housing, lubed and adjusted the controls, new OEM rear fender. Oh, wow, new OEM rear fender, new side number plates, new front number plate, new limited edition Steiger graphics, full nut and bolt check over. So, Yep, these are Christie's decals actually um, on the, the shrouds, tank, and the side panels. So this is all Steiger graphics that you see on this bike, which are one-offs or not available to the public um, unless you bought one of our 95s. Um, and then it was professionally rotisserie detail. We have some guys in detail that are super, super handy. The frame was touched up locally. Like I said, it's not a total restoration. Um, but it's certainly not lipstick on a pig. This is a freshie that was carefully preserved that uh, the boys kind of took it to the next level. It's very presentable. Um, I'd imagine the touch-up is limited to the side frame rails a little bit here. Um, it's well done, you know. Um, what else can I tell you about it? Uh, total ripper. Uh, looks like they polished the, the power core two exhaust, uh, the muffler here as well. Um, we like those longer power cores when it comes to the CR500s. Hold holding line guys we had to pause it so i could take a call but i just looked in the folder and yeah we have a clear utah title with the bike this clear and open title to be transferred through our dealership um actually let me see i don't want to give the guys address away for safety reasons um this is not an off-road only title i'm fairly certain that this will be okay for street reg registration if you wish to that's significant because usually in the northeast here when you bought one of these from the dealer the certificate of origins would say off-road only and in that case well you're prohibited from ever obtaining a street title or tagging it for the street but uh super clean example let me show you what matters um so the motor the motor is original and it's tight oem crank you see what we got here. The radiators are also original. Comes from the frame lowers, Jordan. Right side, super nice. One little dimple right here. This is their full disclosure. A couple motors at Unadilla. These would be flattened out back in the day. Go on this side. On this side, I don't believe there's any dents on the left side of the frame rail here. Super straight. So you can also check out the linkage. This is all the things that we like to check out the linkage, see if the linkage is all beat up, you know, the swing arm and stuff. You know, if, if, if one of these was trail ridden, you know, ridden hard in the rocks and the roots, show them the, also the fork lowers, then that's the stuff that you uh, will show wear that can't, you know, can't be hidden. So... Original wheel set as well, straight. You know, we, we're we a new gas gas dealer. We're staying true to the old Hondas, but we do have the red bikes on display here as well, the, the new Austrian lineup. We'll sell bikes 15 hours later, the bikes come back needing wheel sets all bent up, because up north here, you got JDA riders, guys that go in the rock beds and the gardens and stuff. And a lot of these CR500s were taken off in, in you know, off-road, uh, riding was done trail stuff but mostly you know hair scrambles and you know stuff like that but uh i don't have anything else to say guys um for a shipping quote message your zip code um ship it anywhere in the states inexpensively we can offer financing through freedom road financial call us to do a pre-app 860-471-0192 if you have any questions 
uh, leave a message through eBay um, or give us a call. Be happy to talk to you on the bike. Um, just this is a winner. If you're looking for a 95 to fill the spot in your collection, this is a nice original example with title, nice frame with some money parts on it between the CPI, the intake stuff, um, and that nice tight motor. These are getting tough to come by. So thanks for watching thus far, guys. Good luck bidding, and God bless America.